All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking the smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the Challenger Monster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding at a Mechacala, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Islam Makacha. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grappler versus grappler, we see a striking affair, but all indications are these guys are gonna try to clinch and try to do what got them to the big shot. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is, normally, for both of these guys, when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that's as diverse or as good in these positions as they are tonight. They get mirror images of themselves. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big and kick. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big kick. Got him to clinch once again. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Just over three minutes now to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time in the corner tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, just open it up on him now. And he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, big knee there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Just misses with the straight left hand. Slips. And both guys really throwing with authority. Strong hook lands. with the right hand. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Hook is there again. Separate. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Nice kick. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Lands the right hand. He lands a big knee to the body. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Second round, straight ahead. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. A pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. 
someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. What a body kick. Nice hook lands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just misses with the straight right. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. With Nash working, you know he's in for a good night. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch for the win. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Three minutes now to go in round two. And they separate. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful takedown lands. There's the single. Both fighters back to their feet now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Great punch landing with so much power. Liver kick. Blocks the shot. Big kick lands. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Back and forth we go! Fantastic time. One minute to go in round two. Cable hey, inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Missed with that attempt. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. You lost that round. That's all right. You got another round to go. I want you to use your wrestling this time. Don't 
Don't force it. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. This is with that punch. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Try to establish that jab. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, big head kick. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice. Just out of range with the straight left hand. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, missed on that one. Slips the shot. It's such a fast leg kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And there comes the separation now. It's messed up really bad. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. Fight going away, and it's one of the rare instances where everything comes together. Oh man, look at that picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Knee to the body. And they separate. Nice kick. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. 
20 seconds now remain in the room. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Final seconds of round three. What a fight so far. Let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Right hook to the head block. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at the That one snuck in. Nice strike. Missed with that right hand. Gets up again here, but hurting. Celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.